What is up guys? Welcome to 2020. I literally cannot believe it is already the new year. Anyways, I thought I would start the new year off with something that is a little bit different than anything I have ever done on this channel before or ever really even done in my life in general. And that is to make a 2020 vision board or dream board or mood board or whatever you want to call it. The main purpose for me making this is because this year I really need to buckle down and focus on my goals and I figured what better way than to be reminded every single day when I wake up I will look at it. It'll be right on my wall next to my mirror when I'm getting ready in the morning and I feel like it's just a really great and positive way to start my day. Now of course you actually have to do the work. You can't just put a bunch of stuff on a board and expect it to miraculously happen. You have to work towards it, but I feel like this is a great way to keep yourself motivated. It'll always remind you every day and you'll feel guilty when you're not doing it. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into all of the things that you will need to create your own dream board. One thing I wanted to mention was this video was inspired by Amber Scholl. She's one of my all-time favorite YouTubers and I just think that she has super positive and happy energy and she does these every year and she seems to accomplish most of the goals on there so I'm going to give it a shot for myself. Okay, so in order to get started you will need obviously a few different things. You will need a poster type board paper. I don't know what this is called but it's like a thick whatever, you get the point scissors, a marker, and all of your images and anything that is going to inspire you. And I will go over mine in a minute, but each one has a different meaning or something that I want to work towards. Oh, and I also forgot to mention you're going to need stuff to hold your images down. Duh, Alia. So I have tape and I have a glue stick. So we will just go ahead and see which one works better. So once you have all of your images cut out, it is time to start laying down each piece. So the first thing that I have put down on my board in the very center is a quote that I want to think about and read every single day and it says, will you live or simply exist? I just think that it has a really important message behind it. So many people just go through life and it's like eat, sleep, work, die, and they're just existing. But I want to live. So one of the next goals I have is to do traveling and I really, really have been dying to go to Greece. This is where I want to go this summer and I really want to just start planning it and make it happen. We've been talking about it for years and we just need to do it. So since this bad boy is so important, I'm going to just put it right up here near the quote and keep it nice and central. And while we're on the topic of travel, I printed out this picture here of a world map with passports and photographs and a camera. And this pretty much just represents that I want to do more vlogging and take you guys with me on my travels. So this is a picture I took a few years back when I was hiking in San Diego. And to me, it just really represents being one with nature and appreciating the moment that you were in. So this photo here was actually taken while I was, I believe, still in high school or maybe beginning of college. It's been a long time. This is at least 10 years old. And a lot of you probably don't know this about me, but I was an avid horseback rider. I was a professional horseback rider for many, many years. I've been riding since about the age of seven. And in 2015, I fell off my horse and I almost broke my back. It was really serious. I couldn't walk for nearly two months without being in severe pain. I had to be on crutches because I really couldn't put any weight on my right hip or leg at all. And so that was a really like depressing and traumatic time. I wasn't able to go to the gym or just do really any physical activity. I was pretty much bedridden. And I haven't actually been back on a horse in about five years. And it's always been one of my hobbies and a sport that I've always done. And I'd really like to get back into it. So that symbolizes getting back into horseback riding. Another thing I'd like to do is actually just Buckle down and get on designing my apartment. So another fun fact about me. I have a bachelor's degree in interior design and I worked as an interior designer for almost three years. And the reason that I quit was mostly to do with the people I worked for. But I also kind of realized it wasn't my passion anymore. I really loved it while I was studying it in school and while I was doing it, but I slowly kind of just outgrew it. I guess the way that I realized it wasn't my passion was I have never enjoyed designing my own living space. So this year I want to not be lazy. I want to use the skills that I have paid so much money for in college, 
don't go to college in America, kids. It's a trap. So this picture right here is actually the view of my previous apartment. And the reason that I put it on here was I haven't really been happy in the place I have been living currently. While I really like the location and it's a great neighborhood, I really miss having a nice view. My view right now is just of the parking lot and I didn't realize how important it was to just be up high and be able to see the sunset every day. So my goal for, I guess towards the end of 2020 really, my lease is up in September, is to move into an apartment where I get to watch the sunset every night because that is very important to me and I miss it a lot. So this photo here is just a picture of a girl who has really nice curly hair, which is probably what I could have if I didn't continuously straighten it and damage it all the time, but my hair is naturally very curly like that. And I want to just stop like doing so much shit to my appearance. Like I just want to be more natural. I just want to have my hair be curly and not worry about it. So obviously you can see this is a picture of a card. And the reason I put this here is I have decided that I need to start budgeting more and not spending all of the money on online shopping. My boyfriend and I have come up with a plan to save money so that we can put it towards travels and things that really matter that we really want to do this year. So that is a big one and the reason I put the Revolut card is that is where we are putting the monthly limit on and that has to go towards daily expenses and just really a good way to pay attention to the spending more. I want to reach 100k subscribers this year and I know I can do it if I just really buckle down and focus and so I photoshopped the 100k on there because I feel like if I see it every day it will just remind me to always work towards that goal and make it happen. This is just a drawing that somebody else did of a swimsuit and many of you probably don't know this about me but my dream has always been to be a swimsuit designer and I don't have the money to do it right now. A lot of the things on my mood board kind of go together so with the number of subscribers I get on YouTube I can continue to make more money and save that money and then I can reinvest in myself and start my swimwear line. So support your girl, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, you know the deal, please and thank you. You've probably seen this picture of me on Instagram if you follow me, but this is just to motivate me to get back into the gym and just stay healthy and be on a good path. Everyone's probably gonna laugh at me for this one, but I would not be opposed to getting engaged this year. My boyfriend and I have been together for about three years now and I think the main reason we're not engaged is because I spend a lot of money on clothes. Budgeting, you know, it's not just for travel. It would be nice to like move forward to the next step in our lives. I'm getting old. So that also motivates me to try and save a little bit more money. And plus you'll see it every day too, so it'll be on his mind. So this next picture here is just a picture of wire wrap jewelry. If you're my friend, you already know that I used to do that all the time, just like as a hobby. You know, some people like puzzles. I like to make things and it was really a good way for me just to relax and kind of get out of my own head and just focus on something creative, which is what I've always been into doing creative things. So this is a picture of a cute little koala and I'm sure you guys know about the fires going on in Australia right now. So that's there to not only remember how fortunate I am and the country that I'm in is right now and how many other people around the world are, but also because I want to remember to donate to the Red Cross Foundation just to help out Australia. And I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to donate as well. Anything obviously helps, even if you can only afford a dollar. And if this shit doesn't get under control, there's gonna be a lot of animals that go extinct, especially the koalas. If you have a heart, even if it doesn't affect you, just please donate something. Thanks. Then I just wanted to include a bunch of little quotes that I love that I feel like are relevant to my life. And this one says, life is waking up an hour earlier to live an hour more. Y'all know your girl sleeps until like noon to 1 p.m. So this one is really just kind of like a kick in the ass to remember that I don't need to sleep all day to go to bed a little earlier, get up, get more shit done, focus on my career, and be in the moment. Next quote says, watch more sunsets than Netflix, and it's gonna go right under the sunset pick. 
This quote here says, a well-read woman is a dangerous creature. And I included this one on the board because I really wanna get back into reading more books. I used to be an avid reader and I've been slacking lately, but also because I want to stay up to date with what is going on in the world and really pay attention to the news. The next quote I'm including is, being at peace is the ultimate power of position. As long as you are happy with yourself and where you are going, nobody can take you down. This is something I've always lived by. Integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody is watching. Kindness is never wasted, guys. I know that I say that a lot and it is in my Instagram bio even, but honestly, it's all about doing the right thing and not expecting anything in return. Just doing the right thing because you want to strive to be a better person. The dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. And I need to remember that, especially for focusing on my YouTube channel. And the last quote that I am including is, live in such a way that if anybody should speak badly of you, nobody would believe it. So this quote was important to include on my board because I often have people say to me, oh, I thought that you were going to be a bitch or I thought you were gonna be stuck up, whatever, honestly. But what they always end up saying is you're actually really nice or you do a lot for your friends and people you care about and you're actually a kind person. And that's because I really, really try hard to live my life in a way that people can't really speak poorly of me other than their assumptions on me, but I don't ever want anyone to be able to speak poorly of my character, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Not usually used to getting this deep on YouTube. It's making me a little uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Anyways, I'm gonna go and glue all of these down and then I will show you the final project result. Yeah, same thing. Okay, bye. That is it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it brings you some inspiration for your own 2020 goals. Thank you so much for watching.